All right, I know there's a lot of guys that are just starting out that maybe um, don't know really a whole lot about it besides reading the label and sometimes have a str struggle, have troubles mixing. Um, you know, always read your label. Right now I'm spraying uh, four speed XT. Um, it's, works good. I've had some trouble in the cool weather um, with regular three way. Um, acting slow and that stuff there seems to speed the process up on the kill and I think it does a better job when it's cool of actually completing the kill instead of just uh, almost dead and then it survives and and comes back so um, the way I mix this obviously I got my water there I don't ever pre-mix chemicals I just carry the water and mix as I need to go and I got enough hose that will reach to the back of this trailer and I may have to pull up sometimes I can't remember but um, basically on this Z spray how it's set up it's pretty nice 30 gallon tank so I always uh, I fill right to this 28 and maybe just a slightly slightly above and then that's a one and a half one and a half ounce per thousand square foot product so that'll get you if you do the math Per thousand square feet I can spray about four acres so what it equivalates down to is I end up putting about 120 ounces which is just about a gallon uh, per tank so it works out pretty good you can buy one gallon uh, jugs if you like it's a little more money and you don't have to worry about mixing uh, but I keep my mixing cup here uh, the prodiamine the pre-emergence anybody's ran it it's yellow I try to rinse it and pour back into the tank but it's it really stains a lot it's hard to get that cleaned out uh, I'll be done with it soon but yeah just I know people they have questions you know you just got to do the math the one nice thing about the Z, Z spray is it gives you a chart on the back side of this pad with what nozzles and what pressure and mile per hour so well, it's right there. It's upside down. Shows you, you know, how to spray tire, you know, with the tire marks and the overlap. Um, that is a guideline. I always run a test just to make sure your pump and stuff is flowing right. But I'll measure each nozzle and do the hand math the hard way every year just to double check. But most of the time, uh, you keep your nozzles replaced. I don't know they're. They're kind of expensive, but make sure they're spraying. If they look good, they probably are good. If they're spraying funny, go ahead and replace them. But if you, I like those one and a half ounce products. They're easy. You know, it's 120 gallons. And once you come up with your formulation, um, you know, you only use a handful of products. And in the lawn care business, you're not spraying fungicides and stuff like that. And it's a, you know, one third of a gallon per thousand is what those uh, tips are rated for. And you can do about four acres with this thing. Uh, you actually have a little bit more chemical capacity than you will spreader capacity if you put the spreader material on on uh, heavy enough. But uh, I don't know if you guys got any more questions. Let me know. Keep with some extra parts.